Hi friends, in today's video we are going to learn how to draw the anterior view of the skull in just 5 steps. Let us draw it. In this view you can see the nasal bone and the piriform aperture which is going to be our baseline for this diagram. You can also see the frontal process of the maxilla, the orbit, the zygomatic bone and the zygomaticotemporal arch. In this lateral view, you can see the styloid and the mastoid process which are placed behind the head of the mandible. I am talking about the structures because it can also be seen from the anterior view. Now you can see the styloid process in between the gaps. The bones which are surrounding the orbit will invaginate inside and forms the roof, floor, medial and the lateral wall. Now we have got a good visual of the skull. Let us draw it. In first step, let us draw the nasal bone, the pyriform aperture and the orbit. In second step, draw a curve which represents the inferior temporal line, the outline for the zygomatic, maxilla and the alveolar process of the maxilla. In third step, draw a oval shape which represents the neurocranium and the mandible. In fourth step, let us draw details to our skull. First, the tooth, the incisor, canine, premolars and molar. Continue the same for the lower jaw. The mastoid process and the styloid process. Now draw a oblique head shape which represents the sutures. Now let us draw the invagination of the skull bones into the orbit. The frontal bone forms the roof of the orbit. The lateral wall and the floor is formed by the zygomatic bone. And next we are going to draw the superior and the inferior orbital fissure which contains some of the major structures of the orbit. The maxilla enters the orbit as its floor. Now draw the infraorbital foramen and the mental foramen. Now we have completed this diagram. Let us shade it to give it a realistic look. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Happy learning.